Dan. Uh, today we're going over a really cool Milwaukee kit. Eric since the Milwaukee New Products Symposium has gotten Milwaukee crazy. He loves Milwaukee. I've always been a fan of Milwaukee. I like Milwaukee. So uh, we're talking about Milwaukee. Yeah. And I just happen to be wearing this shirt. I'm not wearing it for the video. I just happen to be wearing the shirt. But this is a four-piece combo kit. It's the M18 kit. What it comes with hold is on, the. Let me get in there. Start over. Okay. Okay. This is the four. It's a four-piece combo kit. What it comes with comes with the hammer drill. Well, uh, first of all, let's back up. Five-year warranty. Yep, five-year warranty. The model number on this is twenty-six ninety-six dash twenty-four. Comes with the hammer drill. Comes with the heck the uh, quarter-inch hex impact driver. The famous Milwaukee sawzall. The flashlight comes with two red lithium XC high capacity batteries. Are those 3.0 amp hours? 3.0 amp hours. Also comes with a tool bag, too. Where's that? Um, it's actually in the truck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, you guys have probably seen a, a tool bag before. So let's go over to, into it. Comes obviously with a side handle, which is cool. You can put it on the left side or the right side. Um, a couple things to note on it is it is a half inch uh, hammer drill. The model number on this is 2602-22. It's got a four pole frameless motor and an all metal uh, gear case. I actually like it. It's got good balance on this. Even with the battery on it. I don't know. I just like the feel of it. It feels, I don't know, it's got a good balance on the hand where you're not going to get tired. You can work with it. It's got your normal forward and reverse right here for your thumb and your index finger to move around. Um, torque settings. How many torque settings? 24? 24. 24. And basically... It's two speed? A, two speed. It's got a low, which is 0 to 450, and a high, which is 0 to 1700. Puts out 550 inch-pounds of torque, so it definitely has got a lot of power to it. It's got 29,000 uh, BPM, so you'll be able to hammer away on this bad boy. Uh, what about LED light? We got LED light. LED light right in the front. Nice. What the about whole things? About eight and a half inches long, so it's not mm -hmm. really long. It's, it's, I don't want to say it's compact because it's definitely not compact, but it's shorter than a lot of the other ones we've seen out there. What Another about fuel gauge? Three point five pounds. Fuel gauge right in the front. It's on the packs. Yep, actually on the battery. Nice. So you can see it. I don't know. I like it better on the battery. I think. Well, I. I then you have to put it in the tool. Yeah, I do. You just grab it. Okay, next. Next is the uh, quarter-inch hex impact driver. The model number on this one is 2650-20. Again, this has a four-pole frameless motor also. Um, 0 to 2200 RPMs and 0 to 3200 impacts per minute. Uh, this one's 1,400 inch-pounds of torque, and it's 5 and 3 quarter inch long. And it only weighs 2.6 pounds, so it's very light. Um, LED? LED, too. It's got the LED in the front. So belt, belt clip. Yep, belt clip. Um, it's really compact looking. I do like it, and I like the fact that it's got the overmodeled grip on the front and the back. So that's good. Um, it's not like some of the other ones we've tried where it's a one-handed, where you can change the bit with one hand. Not a huge deal, but it is definitely one thing to note. Next thing is your flashlight. I like the flashlight. It's got a nice base on it with the battery. Um, one thing I'm a little disappointed in is it's an incandescent light. Um, just wish I really like the LED ones. And it does have a push button on. So I don't know. I like the push buttons. I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter between flipping that. But here's one thing that's cool is in the back, it's got a built in hook to it. So you can hang it. So I'll nice. hang it from your car hood or hang it from a rafter and pipe, whatever. So that's that. Obviously the head pivots. The last thing is the Saza, which I like. The, the famous Saza. Milwaukee Saza. I have to admit, when I first saw it, I was a little disappointed, which I'll go into in a second. But it turns out I was wrong. Um, right up top, you have your lock and your unlock button. Got the D-handle grip, obviously. In the front, nice old 
over molded grip um, so when you're working with gloves you're still able to hold on to it uh, the strokes per minute is 0 to 3200 so it is a variable speed trigger it's 17 and 3 quarter inches long and it weighs 6.4 pounds um, it does have the patented gear protection clutch which is cool so it basically absorbs the impact and saves the wear and tear on your tool um, the shoe pivots it does not extend you can't extend it that's one thing I was a little uh, disappointed on not a huge deal but saw this on the side and I thought maybe they got rid of their quick lock system but it's not if you can see it still uses their quick lock feature all you do is just lift this up and then you can insert the blade so it's still got the same locking mechanism in there which I like a lot so overall it's a good kit I like it it's a great you know M8 for the M18 kit it's really good they offer a lot of different tools that's one of the reasons I'm going with the Milwaukee because they've got a lot of different things out there I've got the you can watch our other videos I got the radio um, you got two radios the M18 the and M12. M12 yeah I actually use the M12 more Really? Yeah. Um, and then I got the vacuum. Which, oh, yeah, I like that. Which I like. It's cool. Some people don't like it because it doesn't have a, a power cord on it, but I like it. So, anyways, it's pretty good. Check, you can check more of our videos out at YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube video. Also, check us out on Facebook. Like us on Facebook. You get a chance to win some tools, coupons, or anything like that. As soon as you like us on Facebook, you're entered in for, for good. You don't have to do anything else. Um, another way to enter is to sign up to our newsletter, our monthly newsletter, which we like to say it's monthly, but sometimes we get lazy and send it out every other month. Um, so now we're going to see this stuff in action, are we not? Oh, that's right, yep. So I shouldn't even close this out. No. Okay, so let's go ahead and see this in action. What I'm doing right now is I have a one inch quarter spray bit on here that I'm going really, and then I'm going to go really fast, I'm going real fast. We're, we're gonna, no. <laughs> Alright, what, what we have on here is... That was fast, that was good. <laughs> What we have on here is a one and a quarter inch spade bed. Going to go through a piece of landscape timber. One thing to note that I like a lot on here is that right now, it has the 24 gears, uh, but all you have to do... 24 clutch settings. 24 clutch settings, I'm sorry. 24 clutch settings. Um, when you have it on the screw mode right there, you're using the clutch. You want to go to drill. It's cool because you can just move it right over. Now it disengages the clutch. So if you can go... It's nice because you can go by switching back from drilling to fastening, drilling by to fastening. keeping the same clutch settings. Exactly. So how I, hard are you going to be pushing here? I'm going to push pretty hard. The bit's very dull. Okay. I just want to check it out because a lot of these tools have the overload protection, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I do know a lot of people like them. So. Overload. Yeah. See, normally you're not going to push that hard on it. So not do a normal one like you would do without pushing hard. Yeah. You know, you got a fire going on there. Man. Yeah, I know. Cool. Like I said, the bit's kind of dull on here but so that was overload protection and not i mean you were cranking on it when the overload protection came on yeah well yeah i mean definitely I'm so pretty much halfway through i mean that's not too bad i've seen other ones where they cut out right away yeah i like so. this drill a lot i think it's a good drill I do. so let's go ahead and check out the impact i'm gonna throw some three inch uh screws same piece of landscape timber man i think it screams through them Pretty nice, man. I like it. I don't know. I like this thing, man. I actually like it a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. I do. I like this a lot. Yeah, it's a good little impact. You know? So, it's cool because you can cruise through things. You get a little bit of power to it. Well, a lot of power to it. So, let's go check out the Sawzall. All right, what I'm going to use right now is the Sawzall uh, that came with it. We've got two, four, four uh, three-inch screws we popped on there. First time, I'm just gonna go really hard through it, see if we can get this thing to cut out. Second time, we'll just kind of just go through it, normal. Oh, and I got the fang tip on there too. Got it to cut out. Got it to cut out. Yep. Yeah. How much pressure are you putting on? A lot. 
Let's see if I don't put on a lot, it'll go okay, but watch. It cuts out right away. Um, I can still see normal. Tools in action.com. When one tool just isn't enough. <laughs>